Welcome to HTI Plastics 101 Injection Molding Series. HTI is a high quality injection molded plastic manufacturer. This video will help you understand how plastic parts are produced through the injection molding process. The injection molding process starts with the plastic resin itself. The hopper stores the resin and keeps it dry. The temperature is controlled based on the type of resin. The first part of the process involves moving the resin from the hopper into the heated barrel. The raw material is moved inside the heated barrel by the rotating screw. The screw has three zones. As the material moves closer to the nozzle end, the material starts to liquefy. The material is melted through the combination of compression inside the barrel via friction and by the heating elements that surround the barrel. When a set volume of melted material accumulates ahead of the screw, the screw stops rotating. The material in front of the screw is then injected through the nozzle into the mold cavity. This is called the fill portion of the injection molding cycle. The mold cavity is the area of the mold that forms the finished part. The mold is only filled at 90 to 95% to begin with. Additional material is then injected into the cavity during the packing phase. The screw creates pressure until the plastic is cooled. After the mold has been packed with the remaining 5 to 10% of material, cooling water is used to help the material solidify. While cooling, the screw gets ready to fill the mold again by repeating the fill portion process. Once cooled, an ejector plate helps release the finished part. The finished part is then dropped onto a conveyor belt, which transports the part into a container with the rest of the finished parts. That concludes this video on injection molding, brought to you by HTI Plastics. To learn more about our company, visit www.htiplastic.com.